this is how the game go. If you be, if you politically correct, you say none, then we take a shot. If you say Neither. both, Neither. then we take a shot. <laughs> but but if you so if, so if you pick one or the other, there's no shot. But we, I drink with you, so it's not it's not no, nothing crazy. And it's, it's shots of champagne. <laughs> it's shots of champagne. Yo, shots of champagne. Give me some food. This, this don't feel. This Come on. Don't, this Come don't on. feel like. You right? Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. Oh, but I know I know how you gonna answer this. I know how you gonna answer this. Illmatic or doggy style. God damn <laughs> So how does this game go I gotta so pick one if you, yeah. if you pick one We don't drink If you pick both We drink yeah. Or either If you, and yeah. you pick both Like I like them Yeah, yeah. Like, like Or yeah You, you, you just you choose can't yeah. You can't decide yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't decide You take a shot That's a, You can't dis- You can't so decide So take a shot Off of no <laughs> Doggy style Or ill man It's both their first crazy? Their first albums Yo listen to me I, I, I remember going to HMV Remember that's the, That was HMV, the music store Yes 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 me and my Sam man, Goody Me and my man Omar When I was in uh, Julia Richmond We cut school We went to HMV What was it Tuesdays the albums Used to come out Yes Tuesdays Tuesday. On Tuesday Stole the Snoop Dogg album Went home I remember the whole Snoop Dogg album that night came back to school the next day. We were singing the whole shit all through the halls. So like, you taking a shot? Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Salud. 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 Okay. Maybe y'all know Drink Chance wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them. Giving flowers and celebrating our legends while they can still smell them. We have partnered with What the Flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives. You can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now. I love your baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. God damn. KRS One or Rakim? <laughs> you can always pick. One. You can, I mean, nah, the New York you and you should one. not let you pick one. No, I'm just being honest. See, I'm not saying it's a champagne. Like I'm kind of I'm yeah. going to be asking you who who's trying to This one or that one. The, the one white, white one or the black one. one. Pick the bunk and I jump up to attack one. KRS One is just the title of the crew. Right up to your face and diss you. Come on, man. Then rock him. Okay, all right. So let's take the shot. Let's just stop playing. Come on, bro. Let's just take this. Let's just stop playing. Let's just stop playing. You put a chef to get a nigga drunk on purpose. Exactly. Like, right. yeah. Well, at least nigga, if this shit. nigga pick one, we might jump him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> They're good. They're good. French Montana or Rick Ross? <laughs> <laughs> these are these niggas that come up with these questions. Yeah, that's true. They, they go right there. They go to questions. All right. Oh, I right can't, there. like, so... And this is not this is not like the French, you know I love you to death. You have no for you dig, but I fuck with Rick Ross. Right. Dig, uh, okay. like, I, I like I like I like Rick Ross music. French French got a bunch of hits. Right. Her, right. But I know a bunch of Rick Ross's music. Mm-hmm. You heard? Shouts okay. to Ross the boss and shouts to French. Okay. Shouts no, to no that uh, documentary he just dropped too. I don't know if it came out. I didn't get out. to see the documentary. I heard it's real good. It's dope. Yeah, I, got, I heard it's real good. I got to see it. It's you dope. went to the premiere? I, yeah, I went to the premiere. I like seeing y'all together. Yeah, when you, it was dope. I didn't know that I'd be in the documentary so much, but it was right. definitely dope. Shout when y'all the squashed the beef, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I think I called you, and I was so proud. I was so proud of you. I was so I was so proud of New York because I just feel like New York. We need to show unity. Like yeah. everyone else is showing yeah. unity, but us because we were so cocky for so many years. But let's move on. Yeah. Okay. Big L or stack bundles? Come on, oh, that's great. Take a shot. Okay. Yeah, yeah, solo. Solo. Yo, y'all motherfuckers supposed to be taking shots too. I'm taking shots to y'all. What the fuck are y'all doing I'm over there? Taking shots. I'm taking shots to John Day. Man. John Day is in effect. Was in a shot, yo. John Day. That's the color of the John okay. Day looking like rose. Yeah, Bronx yeah. tail or Goodfellas? It's delicious, by the way. Damn, bro. Uh, this uh, is uh, good. Niggas gonna be bad. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. movies. Like, Listen, just so you know, I ain't gonna front those. So. <clears throat> I sat my son down and watched Bronx Tales with him and my nephew because I I needed them to to watch that like that that's how deep Bronx Tales is with me like I I wanted him to understand the correlation between the working man and the man in the street and told him that I was both. You, you, you watch your son watch. That was one of the only movies that I that I like. We done went to the movies, but 
I, that was the only movie that I told him that I want to sit down and watch with you. I want you to understand Bronx Tale. who I am. I'm, I embody both of these gentlemen right here and shit like that coming up because, you know, he was young and trying to understand who his father is. So that was a great way to get that off to him. Plus, it's a dope-ass movie. It's one of my favorite movies. And Goodfellas, hands down. You got to go home, you heard? Yeah. You got to go, 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 go home. You got to go home. You got to go home. You got to go home. You ready? The, just so you know, the Colombian and the Dominican makes these questions up. <laughs> That's the crazy. Dominican from Washington Heights, yeah, he looks like he still sells cocaine. I don't know why. <laughs> and the Colombian that <laughs> spies the coke from him. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing that. I made that up. It could be. <laughs> Cam or Mace? <laughs> you dead me. I'm going to go Cam. And okay. this ain't. Wait, wait let's so. No, it's there's not, no criteria. Like, you know, I, whatever my... See, my person who never affected my ear for music. I love music. You, mm. you dig? Like, when, when, when French and them came out with the uh, Scheming... I Say was, Scheming. I was on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had to listen to it. Like, <laughs> you know, I mean, my head bobbing like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 That's when I really started hating. I was like, oh, I hate it. He's here. No way to deal with him there. Shout out to French. But yeah, but so what I'm saying with that is between me. So, you know, I, I, I lived with Cam. Cam is my brother above really? any whatever we I, was, I love that. that. We started from the bottom. You heard like so I like it's different. Like I I know this, I know he's a dog when it comes to rapping. Like right. they, I've been through the lifestyle with him, also seeing how creative he is and shit like that. The same with Mace and shit like that. You right. dig, but it's just something about Cam that I think So I, Cam versus Mace on versus you going Cam. I'm going Cam, 100%. God damn it. Let's make some more <laughs> But Mace Show me how to rap. I mean, mm. I mean I've said I've I've said wow. this yeah, lots yeah, of times, yeah. but Mace was smart enough to show me how to rap and compound the bars and things like that. So I can never take that. Play. And Mace got some of the dopest music that I heard also. But Mace only has one album. Right. 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 Cam got platinum albums, yeah. like not mm. one of them, and that's what people don't be understand when it comes to you, Cam, mm. and, uh, and Flo Bar. Like, these are all multi platinum artists you right. talk to that's when right. you see them. Like we right. like right. you heard like mm -hmm. real platinum real plaques, mm -hmm. and, and not the one that was accumulated by streams. The yeah. one that yeah. people had to go yeah. in the store yeah. and buy. Yeah. 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 And then if yeah. your yeah. CD yeah. got scratched, you had to go buy another one. You heard like stop playing, and then some people was buying two and them. Want to keep in the plastic because it's a classic. Like, stop playing. Like, this one is, this, and these is ten ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. Like, they people had to come up out their pocket. It wasn't no credit card, no Apple Pay. These was hard dollars. I'm so old. I got a couple albums on tape. Yeah, bro. Four reporters on tape, bro. I seen that the other day. I ain't even want to sign it. I was like, hey, remember Cam, 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 um, Cam, Snippy, remember Cam Snippy joint was on, was on the tape. Like, yeah, tape. Yeah. I was telling people we was, bro. We was recording before Pro Tools, like, right. and it was just, yeah. Uh, the real, the real, the little door, the little door you gotta carry around. Like, these kids don't even understand. Yeah. Yeah. Like yo, she's like eight pounds. It was gas and rails before. Yeah. I remember yeah. when the first Pro Tool reel was rigged, was reeled into the Hit Factory studio. Like yo, uh. this is some digital shit. Like like some digital shit. Like nah, we don't need none of the rails no more. We going like I remember this vividly. I remember Swiss Beats coming in. That same year, that same album recording, that was Cam's first album in Hit Factory, mm -hmm. and D and Rough Riders walked in with this young kid, had to be 16, looked like a baby. His name was like, D Nephew. He wasn't even named Swiss at the time. And he was, they, they, his name was Swiss, but his it was name D Nephew, but it was, it was more D than D Nephew. Nephew. Yeah. So that was the, you had, you better buy a beat. Right, 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 right. right. <laughs> but he came in Cam's studio, started playing some shit. Mm -hmm. So, he so I'm on one of those records with Cam. Cam, Cam was Cam Glory, his first beat besides the beats that he gave to Rough Rider. Like he was the first person to buy a Swiss beast piece. I remember that. I don't want to run. I just want to talk to y'all and shit like that. Like nigga, I mean, it's me, Cam, and DMX. That was the first people that to, 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 yeah. I'll give it to Cam. I, I ain't gonna take that from Cam. But it's me, Cam, and DMX. Yeah, early in this year. Yeah, because like, yeah. like, it's banned from TV. Three. It's Stop Drop And I believe it's Glory I, I believe it's the name Glory. of the record But and I'm on that record So Glory. I can't yeah. take it Shit yeah. I, like, Hey man yeah. Hey man <laughs> Hey man 
Yeah. Yeah. What you look at us like? We legends, motherfucker. I'm on my shirt. Yo, yo, listen. I'm about to get you banned. I'm about to. I know the owner. I'm about to get you banned. This nigga drinking more Johnny. Chinks, chinks or pop smoke? Um, I'm gonna go with. Well, see, oh, let's just drink. Okay, let's drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New York City. Go, he's shot. He's shot. He's shot. Let's just drink. <laughs> God bless both of them individuals. Our uh, peace. Our uh, peace to them. God bless their family and, con uh, and my condolences and all that. I know it's hard when you lose someone. You date, so we can't compare them type of people. And they yep. both great. Yep. They both did an outstanding job when yep. they came into this music, and they was left prematurely. You date like. Yep. You know where they was both going. Like, yep. oh, the last album that Chink did, like, that boy. That, right. I didn't even know he was that ill when it came right. to, right. You know, like, right. like, you dig? And then right. Pop Smoke put a whole new wave on, on top of New York City that right, right. right now. It's he, he, if he would have been alive, he, he, he would have been, he he been, been, been that next door. Oh, oh, different type of a level <laughs> of, of stardom. Like, he was, yeah. he was really going there. He was like, he was, up. you know, in New York, you know, in New York, every, every, 10 years yeah, we get, get some special yeah, I think I'm gonna light it right there okay like, you finally found so it I was right. like so he, yeah, I believe <laughs> I believe that Pop Smoke was the next one that was mm -hmm. gonna feel that right. feel that right. rest in peace to his family too yeah. his um, um, might have let um, the women in Air Force Ones or Jordans um which Amy honestly I'm gonna go Air Force Ones yeah. you heard but the okay. Jordans is good after that but Air Ones yeah. I just got Everything. they just sent me they just sent me Drake's Air Force Ones fire yeah, yeah, but I ain't gonna lie, it's nothing different. Shit <laughs> 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 just got you know, Loverboy, no. Oh, got got Loverboy, yeah, fire. Lover boy. I was fire. like, I was like, I'm gonna wear them today. I said, man, I'm I might, fire, I'm gonna step on some shit. So like I said, it's just my luck. So I, 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 I chill. Kiss or Styles P? Let's drink. Okay. Yeah, let's drink. I need more drink. Let's drink. Jamie is there for you can't. Like, I ain't gonna lie. So Styles was my favorite rapper for a long. And you got time. an album with him. I don't have an album. Oh. I got some cuts for them. Oh, I thought you had an uh, EP we or supposed, something. We were supposed to. Oh, yeah, I was doing it. We got, got to get, get it okay. done. This is back in the cotch. So we take, we just take, the, take the drink and then finish yeah, the story. But, yeah, but yeah. Styles is, Styles is one, of my favorite, drink or don't count. one of my favorite rappers. I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know if... Um, so I'm going to go back in history. We're going in history, right? Let's, Let's go. go. So I remember maybe about 90, 96, maybe? 96. Yeah, maybe late 95, 96, I remember um, Mace used to live uptown. Okay. Kids called Young Guns from back in the day. And then a uh, little short stocky kid. It's an apartment. It's part of a group called Locks. Mm. You know, they was doing music and all that. Your name Styles and shit like that. And then... Uh, he had did this verse and then he was like, 100 niggas at it. 100 niggas bad at me. Still could shatter me. I'm only getting up, splitting up your anatomy, you heard? He had did that verse, right? But the funny thing was about it, he was in that apartment because that incident, I believe, had happened and shit like that. And wow. then he had turned around and did the verse and the record and shit like that. And then from there, I was like, the locks and everything started becoming so visible. And then I just started listening to heavy styles. Like, his shit was cheap. Styles is like, oh, oh, shit. oh, oh girl. Nah. But in where Styles was like to me, he was the lead in the locks when I first started really started engaging in the locks. Like right. Styles was like this nigga Styles is right. like ah and then Jada right. mm, just started really start going crazy throughout the years and his flow became so impeccable yeah. in the world play and the things and he was touching voice. on yep. if you was outside and you was in the getting the cars and getting some and money, and get some like, money like, he was oh, on. this nigga Jade is going crazy oh. so <laughs> there's no way I could like you did like shout out to the whole lot shout out to, shout out to Luke Sheik too like Sheik is nice as hell too like you did like he don't get his proper flowers and shit like that but Sheik be going the fuck off all the time with her like he go Crazy and shit like that. Yeah. Okay, so um, New Jack City or Juice? <laughs> <laughs> Salud. I like that. I like that. New Jack City. Okay. Easy E or Nipsey Hustle? Mm -hmm. Damn, my nigga. <laughs> I, look, I, I didn't get to. I didn't. I didn't get to. I, didn't, I, I never got to. Uh, me, 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 me,
Easy. Yeah, well, everybody, yeah. everybody. Easy. I can see Come easy on, easy. easy. Say it. Uh -huh. Easy. Yeah, yeah, you didn't go see, even yeah. when he bust through the screen. Oh, yeah. never. <laughs> I'm just too clever. So in fact that no one can ever. Stop playing with me, bro. I've been outside a long time, <laughs> Let me tell you Video music box. Stop easy, doing easy, that, bro. Family was the first when one niggas ain't know what West Coast. <laughs> bro. And I paid. West Coast term New York niggas <laughs> out. Stop playing, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah. playing, nigga. Yeah. When niggas yeah. seen them niggas on video music, Box. Yeah. I remember I said you say some shit with Snoop. Um, you said you used to fuck with Snoop, you used to love Snoop. Then you said you seen them, they called that body. You was like, oh, these niggas is really gay. Yo, no, yo, 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 bro, yo, bro, nah, nah. Nah, Snoop, that yo, bro. I, I love, I love the West Coast certified gangsters like you did. Like, yeah. I was, I'm a real fan of West Coast music. The dog yeah. pound, when Daz and them niggas was going crazy and Thanks, Snoop dog. and them was coming out. Like, bro, what? Bro, Daz and them niggas were some of the oh, nicest right. niggas yeah. on. These yeah. niggas was going wild yeah. on yeah. records yeah. back in the days, bro. Yeah. What? Like, yo. They had the beats up. Oh, they man. And then the whole gangbanging culture and shit like that. It just And then uh, New York just started touching on the whole game. It was, I was just all turned out from the West Coast right. music and shit like that. You dig it? And the more I got into gangbanging, the more I was yeah. a fan of the West Coast shit mm -hmm. and shit like that. And then the... It became a reality for me. Mm -hmm. Like I'm really gang banging, and now I'm doing music, mm -hmm. and now and you I'm gang banging to a point that it's a thing that everybody in the world could see. Mm -hmm. And now these niggas from the West Coast that have been gang banging all their life, and their mama mm -hmm. been, and their papa been getting, their uncles been gang banging, are now asking questions: Why are these niggas in New York uh -huh. acting like they really gang banging? These niggas is fake bloods. Uh -huh. You heard? Like. Uh -huh. Really fake bloods. I'm really getting death threats all the way on the on the on the East Coast and shit like that. Like really, like I'm getting a bunch of bloods calling me. I'm getting all type of shit going on when in the midst of the dipset and really start getting into the heighten of commercializing the gang banging on the East Coast. You heard? Like we were responsible for that. And that shit came with not a, I wouldn't say a price, but it came with questions and shit like that. So it was a point that I had to put on for what we were doing yeah. from right. the East Coast perspective. Right. And right. I mean really put on, like go to the West Coast and do right. my yeah. video yeah. in the yeah. West Coast and really go to the West Coast and go to every hood on the West Coast. And not saying I'm a bad man, there was people that we were calling so we could understand and build a bridge to what we were going on because we were all gangbanging. We were just all killing each other anyway. It was just black on black crime that was going on, but just on a different side. Right. Right? Right. But right. to build a connection because we were all blood and shit like that was more or less what I was thinking about and shit like yeah. that. And that's what I was able to do. You heard, and yeah. I was able to go through California or LA and meet with some of the most notorious gangbangers out there, both Crip and Blood. And that right. helped build the bridge to what we have today that there's so much yeah. East Coast and West Coast yeah. people that have camaraderie that are all gangbanging yeah. and shit like right. that. From, from my observation of seeing shit, right? Like as a fan growing up, like I felt like. At first, it was like kind of cool to be Crip, like snooping them was popping all that. It was like cool to be Crip. Then when y'all came out, well, you came out, you you know, you repping the blush. It was I feel like around like oh four oh five, like you start really going crazy with it, getting lit. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective, I feel like you influenced the Lil Wayne shit, like you know, you Jewels can. I feel like y'all influenced that. A little bit from where who he became, who he became. I feel like he was like. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out to the whole yeah. Cash Money. That's our family, man. We have got a lot of history with them, and I mean, I, I do believe that Wayne was influenced heavily by what we were doing in Dipset, from the way we were walking, dressing, and talking, mm -hmm. the gangbang culture, how fly it was. They was getting some money and shit like that. You dig? And they they dove into it and shit like that. Not saying I, I don't know what they was doing before that, but I know there was a change once they start mixing with the, the Dipset right. whole movement and things like that. And I love Wayne the Deaf and shit like that. That's the blood. What's up, blood? How you feeling? To him? And shit like that. That's the, that's the guy. Shout out to Birdman, too, man. He's one of the most incredible executives. He don't get his flowers the way he should be, but um, he probably got... He, he, he got one of the most... <clears throat> Retarded his runs inside of this hip hop oh, history yeah. ever in all times, hands and down, still running, and he's sure. still running. You heard, but so, they they forget the correlation of what he is responsible for, and still right. connected to, and still getting paid off of. Right, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. shout out to the whole yes. Cash Money. So, heat makers or hit maker? Shit. 
I got I got albums and relationships with both of them. <laughs> Pete Makers is actually one person that's awesome. Um, mm-hmm. He's responsible for the whole Dipset sound. So the yeah. whole ramped up sample sounds that y'all love, Joel's and Cam for yeah. and shit like that. The whole that's what he was responsible for. Hit studio. Maker is actually Young Berg, which we've seen reinvent yes. himself in yes. so yes. many times from yes. being a rapper to now one of the top producers of all times and shit like that. So and I did a shit album with him. Her, back in my prime, mm. shouts to Prime One Twelve, one of my favorite spots out here. Yeah. Check that out. You got a drink. You got a drink. drink. Oh, yo. Okay. Push your tea or malice. <laughs> <laughs> To keep it a buck, I'm gonna go with Pusha T. So we're not gonna drink to them, but okay. Shout out to Pusha T, very dope artist. You know, everybody know he's a monster when it comes to doing music. I can't take nothing away from him. I know everybody's seen everything that was going on recently inside of the media and the internet. Um, I believe it was cool. One time in my life, I got to engage into some um, verbal warfare and, and don't have to go beyond that and shit right. like that. Who knows what he might come up with. He's very crafty and shit like that. Some people react off top. Some people take years to come back. I seen niggas had beef and wait years to ki- try to kill a nigga. You heard? Right, you heard? Right, it's not always right. successful, but this is what I'm trying to say, how people try to line people up. But for the most part, I think it was dope. It was cute. Um, I don't know if he actually took a shot at me, but it was... <laughs> Cause, it, cause was cute. Cute. it was cute. It was. It was. It was pointing. It was pointing in that direction. Yeah. Right. It, it made. Well, you know it made me feel always, the type of way. I wanted to say this for later, but he could always say, "You know, Jim, I wasn't talking about you." I mean, and I, and I would be hurt. I would be heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so upset. You hurt. I would be mad. Like, oh, yeah. You were talking about me. Yeah, you were. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mamas, you was talking about <laughs> Who you was talking about then? Nah, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. I mean, it is what it is, man. Whatever, However they want to take it, it is cool, you know what I mean? Like, you did, it's, it's still rap music and right, shit like that. Right. I seen Kumo D beefing right. with, no, you heard, no, like, I used to live down I'm from, I'm from that era, you heard, right. but it is what it is. We, we see what it is. I, I, I put a response out there, pretty crafty, I think. I think, right. I, I think it was pretty crafty. I think it was pretty crafty. Yeah. Cheers to me, it's my birthday. That's right. Happy birthday. But that's oh, not a okay. subject that we got to dwell on. Yeah, we, 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 we out of here. We out of here. Alamo or Sham God? Damn, that's crazy. So I'm going to pick. Oh, you're going to pick? Yeah. I was going to drink to that. I'm going to pick Ali Mo. Ooh. Yo, Ali Mo got the lowest Hold handle on. I ever God seen. God bless. Okay, God bless. And he did pass away. God, and, not, and that's not because. He passed away, R.I.P. to his soul. Like, right. I went to high school with Ali Moore. I, right. I knew Ali Moore. I watched Ali Moore yeah. playing basketball with Cam. I watched right. Ali Moore playing basketball in tournaments. He right. was hands down one of the nicest individuals in basketball in the world. Right. Wow. Right. Now, I'm not I'm talking about, not, 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 I'm talking about in the world, bro. Right. I've seen that kid do some things that would never, ever be duplicated in right. basketball at all. Right. I mean, and I don't know if, and, and there was no Instagram. There was not that era. Right. You just it was an era that you have to be at. But Ali Mo, the Black Widow, mm. hands down. I, and you can ask anybody who's been around since the '90s and watching basketball and, and street basketball and, and high school basketball. He like uh, and and no disrespect to Sham God. Sham God right. is one of the illest niggas with a basketball in his hand. His handle. He got basketball moves named mm. after him. You heard? Mm-hmm. But the moves that Ali Mo was doing, he didn't have no name for. He was doing these just off the whim. Like I took the shot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just telling you, I'm just telling you, like Ali, like Ali Mo, that was like my favorite like, Rucker Park player. His dribble oh, used to be so low. So talk about it. His so dribble used to be it. so low. I used to be like, talk about it. how tall was he? Six, yeah, five? yeah. Yo, listen, Six. when I met him, and I, t- yo, I'm getting you bad. Yeah. Yeah. That's four. That's four. He's fucking up my dribble. He about to crack the bottle. I want it to be on camera. Jim Jones, man, you started eight four. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, this is good. This is good. This is good shit. He says this stuff. Digger or Swiss Beats? Mm. Digger or Swiss Beats? Yeah. We're going to 
Just no, the both of them. Shout out to Digger. Shout out to Digger. So if nobody know who Six Figure Digger is, Six, Six Figure, Figure Digger is the first producer for Cameron, Bloodshed, I would say Mace, um, from back when he started with Children of the Corn, and that's Cameron gaining his success. Those were all the beats that Digger was making and things like that. Um, also, Digger, no more Digger created the Diplomat logo. So that eagle with the Diplomat going through, mm-hmm. he created that logo for anybody. Sugar? Sugar? Dick, Digger. Digger, Digger yeah, six figure Digger. Yeah. He created the Diplomat Yo, how, logo. How one half of your mustache is gray and the other half is black? <laughs> you gotta get your life together. That's that John Day fucking you up. John Day changed his mustache. John Day changed his mustache. Yeah. Because he's going to change his mustache, Jim. Okay, this is the last one on Quick Time Islam. And I, I, I'm very curious. This is my favorite one. Me and EF Fitness is our favorite one. That we always ask, and this is the one that we always feel like is the most simplest: loyalty or respect. respect. Nate, I call you back. Respect. Mm. Okay, now respect. we we want to break it down. Mm. Say it right Res- respect is something that's earned and not given. Mm. Earned. Mm-hmm. Somebody could just be loyal to be loyal to something that they want to be a part of. That has nothing to do with the same respect they might mm-hmm. have not for you. Mm-hmm. You heard? Mm-hmm. Somebody could be loyal to an opportunity and not have no respect for you. Mm-hmm. You heard? Deep. 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 Hold on. Now and they say respect. Let's talk about respect because everybody mm-hmm. not might not respect you. But I always say that's cool, but you're not going Disrespect me. Right. You heard? Right. right. We gonna get that straight off the top. Right. And if you if you try that, you're gonna learn to respect me. Right. About this lesson I'm gonna give you. Right. You heard? Right. So that's how I feel. But and and being loyal, yes, is something that's very precious, especially when it's amongst the brotherhood and things like that. Right. And I've been loyal to a flaw to everything that I attach myself to and anybody right. that I've attached myself to and people can't, I, I, I wish somebody would say anything about mm-hmm. my loyalty to what I've... No, I think I, I think no both. one can question your He's loyalty. He's saying both. I, 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 actually, so you're, you're actually saying both. Yeah, I'm being honest. Sure. Let's take a shot. Yeah, I wouldn't even try, but, but that <laughs> was a great fucking answer. Respect, that was a great fucking answer. So you got to take the shot, though, sir. We're going to take okay. the shot, but... <laughs> <laughs> Respect over loyalty. I'm drinking police. Any I'm sorry. Day. You heard? Right. You did? Because yeah. whether you loyalty be or not, you we we all we're gonna respect each other. Mm-hmm. You heard? Yeah. No, that's a great answer. Let's make the noise for that. Yeah, yeah. Loyalty and respect. That's the leader.